Hello everyone and welcome back for more Okami and in the last video we went through Kusa Village and got back some of the canine warriors that Princess Fusei had us set out to get. In this video we're gonna go and search for the remaining three that are still missing. We are gonna first start off with the one that is here in Taka Pass. There is one here in Taka Pass and one in Agatha Forest and one in Kimiki Village and there is some lag on the jump. Jeez. So we are gonna first tackle the one here in Taka Pass because it's the closest one. Now, if you remember when we talked to Mr. Bamboo, he was talking about a place called Sasa Sanctuary that he couldn't get into. And that's uh, something important about that. But anyways, it's over here. As you can see, that's where apparently the first canine warrior location is. But, there seems to be nothing here. Strange. Ooh, look. Tree, must bloom, must bloom, must bloom. Must, must bloom? What is moom? I want to know what this mysterious moom is. Oh, voice of mine that it seems to trip over its own tongue. So yes, there's a lot to do. Now I admit, I really hate this quest. It, you, it is required, it's just really annoying to me. I don't know, I just don't like it. There is a weapon uh, reflector that you can get in a village called the Infinity Judge. That makes this a lot easier, but you need a lot of money in order to get it. And I just don't have that money. So to the two, the this, this scent of Sock Sanctuary. And the of the pictures of the sparrows live. So this guy's trying to get in there, but he doesn't know how to get there. He saw one of his young sparrow girls coming out of there. Oh. And my nasty old couple. That'll become important later on in this video. But, unlike him, we realize what we're supposed to do. See this Tori gate? Go through it. And Sasa Sanctuary opens up to us. Yep, that's all you have to do. And the guy really just doesn't realize that. What a loser. And here is Sasa Sanctuary. This place, if you look at it like when it goes from day to night transition, is inside a giant stalk of bamboo. It's a pretty cool design. And this is a place that Mr. Bamboo mentioned. He couldn't get any bamboo to make his bamboo wear because they had closed off this area. So let's go and see if we can talk to him because we have to get in there anyways. Because there's something of interest to us, i.e. a canine boy. Hey, 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 shh. Hi hey you, Scuffy! What are you doing in Sasa Sanctuary? Skipping here with that innocent look on your face. You have a lot of nerve for a wolf. You know this is turned from the Sparrow Clan, right? We can't just let you turn around and leave. Oh no! We'll tan your hide and send you packing. Buzz, let this cocky mutt have it. I'm sure he's not- OH MY GOD! He's here. Hey Scruffy! Jim! Did you even know who this is? This is the mighty leader of the Sparrow Clan. That's right! The Great Jamba! Big Daddy Jamba. Okay boss, take it away! He's all yours! SHE is all yours! Sure. Uh oh. The boss is seriously angry! What the heck is going on here? Listen up, Scruffy. The boss, precious, the boss's precious daughter has been kidnapped, and he's mad. We're doing everything we can to find her. We've searched all over. Why in their face do they have like a scar that looks like Veroni Kenshin? We're going to get through that game until she's safe in town. So, according to these underlings, they are not going to let anyone into Sasa Sanctuary until Jamba's daughter is back home and safe. But she apparently left. So yes, we need to go find her. And also over here, you can't see it, but right here, I believe, is a fancy chest! And it contains a stray bead. Yay! It's really hard to see that one, because it doesn't have like the little handle on the top, so you kind of have to really guesstimate. If you want to know an easier way to find any treasure chests, come to places at night, and uh, the spots will glow where there are treasures. So, really good tip right there. But, uh, you know, let's play. I already know where most of the spots are. If I don't know exactly where they are, then, you know, I'll figure it out. I'm a good boy like that. Whoa, I got some lag right now in my recording. Oh, okay, I understand now why it's, like, lagging right now. It's my compressor in the background just being a jerk. Uh, because right now I'm currently, like, rendering the previous video to this, part 15, and, uh, it's getting really close to being done, so I guess it's just kind of, like, sucking up the energy from that. 
so that way it can finish up quickly. But it looks fine now because everything's kind of functionally normally here in the final cut. So that's good. So this is the cutter house. Cutter's house. Strangers not welcome. Red October. That joke didn't even make sense. So, before we go over to Mr. Cutter's place, Mr. and Mrs. Cutter's. Cutter, not Cutter's. God, how dumb are you? Over here, there is a chest. Where is it? I know there it, there it is. See, I'm smart somewhat. Get this, and you get another stray bee. Now, I wanted to get this first because I didn't want to meet him before getting there. Over here. Huh? God, what a tasty looking mutt you are. First that sparrow, and now a dog. This is going to be quite a feast. What? Look at his mustache. The dreadful Mr. Cutter! Well then, come on, mutt. It's dinner time. Oh, God! Hey, he'll try to run over to you and hit you. Oh, you can. No, not miss! Ow! Time to you. You got some nerve, mutt. Yeah, he's basically going to chase you and try to hit you. You can power slash him, you can tackle him. Okay. Call me, use tackle. But just be careful because he will hurt. He's not a nice man. He's not nice, mommy. Over here, you get a feedback. Very nice. He's a part of the car. Pretty sloppy job, I'd say. Now, the way to get in is you want to go in here. Especially for later. Use a cherry bomb to blow that up. Blow some stuff apart. I can't say the other S word because. I'm trying to be a little bit more PC. That makes a giant freaking hole in the roof. Sunshine hole in the roof. That's one big hole. That's what he said. He's supposed to be gazing at the moon, yeah. That's going for later. Hi, what are you doing here, you shabby looking mongrel? You've got some nerve coming into people's houses like this. I'm gone. Okay? I can do whatever I want. The horrible Mrs. Cutter! Wee, wee, wee. Hey, it's the band Chick Chick Chick. <laughs> I wonder if there'll be a moon again tonight. Moonlight can be a real nuisance for us, you know. It seems to give us strange powers and makes us show our true colors. Why are you telling us this? So it makes it hard for us to keep up a pretense of normal life. I'm pretty sure, lady, that they can already tell that you're not normal. Same thing with your husband. So yeah, they don't really have anything in the house. You must have a dad for which you miss a my there's really nothing here we can do here until nightfall. You want to come back here until uh, when it's night. So that's basically what we're going to do. is We're going to wait around until it's night time to come back to Mr. and Mrs. Cutter's place. You again, Mutt. You will get away from me this time. And then I pop a floor with the bear cheese. But away! I don't have time to read that because I want to get away from these guys. All right. So I'm just going to do some stuff around Taka Pass until it is night time and we can go into their house. Creepy. Oh, one thing I forgot to mention. If you go up top here, there's kind of Hana Blossom above their house. If you drop it drops down onto the top of the Mr. and Mrs. Cutter's house, you can get some glass beads. Very, very nice. All right. Well, it is finally nighttime. I pretty much just spent my time blooming some trees. I fought a demon gate towards the western end of Taka Pass. So that's pretty much all I truly did. So anyways, now that it is nighttime, we can go through the hole in the roof. And, uh... Does this give me the same exact things? No, because we end this time. Yay! Money, 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 money. Yay! You can see Mr. Cutter's asleep. Ugh. I'm so hungry. Um, and let's talk. I don't think we need to talk to Miss Cutter, but she, remember, she says that Moonlight is a real nuisance for them. Because it makes them show their true form. So, let's see him. what the hell is that? Ah, you saw me! You saw me! Where did that shadow come from? You ain't human, whatever it is. So you saw me. Now I'm going to kill you. Maybe be blunt. <laughs> Get it blunt, knife. Well, we eat you all up. Bring it on, you spooks. Spooks! Come out and fight. Oh, that's scoops. Whatever. <laughs> hey, scoops. Scoops, 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 scoops. And oh my god, they're furries. No. no. These are new enemies. These are called Crow Tengus. Now, second thing about Crow Tengus, we do not have their weakness nor their floral finisher yet. 
So we really can't do anything with these enemies except just destroy the living hell out of them. Uh, of course, they can block with their sword, and just like Red M, you can slash them apart and leave them vulnerable. I'm basically just gonna, like, pummel the living crap out of them, instead of shaming them because they block with their sword. Oh, come on, I'm gonna destroy you. There you go. I'm gonna finish you off. Yeah, my uh, brush! Don't. What are you doing? Come on, brush, seriously. Alright, come on. I can defeat you. I will defeat you! Flash. I understand how, like, ink is stronger than brush. I better get a good score on this. Come on. Come on. Pink trees. Pink trees. Pink trees. Yeah! Breast cancer awareness! Why did I say that? Does that mean... No, but we get a box! Which has a creepy... Oh, God! Chirp! Oh, God, it's a girl! Oh, so awful being locked away by those monsters. It feels wonderful to be free again. Thanks so much, doggy. Here, let me pet you. Oh, that's so cute. I love this music. It's so like, I don't know. My name is Chun, precious flower of the spare wind. Flower of Sasa Sanctuary, Chun. Is this the girl the boss of the spare wind was looking for? I better get home, otherwise Pop would be worried about me. So yes, this is the daughter of Jamba. Now, of course, she says that she's scared of going alone because she's... <laughs> it's dangerous to go alone. Take me. So we're going to escort her home. Stupid. Ha, uh, Easton, you just got told by a little girl. <laughs> so now we're just going to take um, Chun back home to her father. And uh, she does have fine in front of you, as, as you can see, you can just easily take them. It's not really that hard. I mean, I, do I really need to show you guys where Sasa Sanctuary is? I'm pretty sure you guys know where it is. I'm, I'm probably going to cut it out. And, uh, ooh, I haven't seen these guys. Yet. Give them food! Oh, it, it interrupts the cool music. I, I like the music, okay? I like it. Poisonally! Let me see that lot more. Okay, so... Wait, wait. Oh, I'm right here. Duh. I love how I said, like, oh, I'm pretty sure you guys know exactly where the way is, and yet I lost my way. I'm so good with geography. I was, like, a geography B winner, and yet I can't find my way around a really small pass. Wow. That is something else I find funny, is that I'm really good with geography, like, in terms of, like, countries and stuff, and yet I'm really horrible with remembering street names. In directions. I don't know. Hey, 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 chirp. Hey, you, Scruffy, what are you doing here in such. Do you not see the girl? So, spare time, I'm high alert. No one gets to until the boss's daughter's found. Huh? Chun? Hi, I'm back. Chun, are you okay? Boss, boss, she's back. Chun's back. Pop, pop. Pop, pop. I'm sorry, Pop. I won't go out on my own again. Why is she tackling him? Sure. Uh-oh. The boss is delighted. Delighted! You sure about that? Yeah, it's... Uh, we can definitely tell that with one monotone chirp. This white doggy saved me, Pop. You give him her something to thank him, won't Her, won't you? Blah, blah, blah. Sure, sure. Hey, he said teacher. to say. And he shows us his armpits, and that somehow opens the door. Okay. Boss has accepted you. You're lucky. Okay, then. You better come inside. And we will. But I think I'm going to end off the video here, because it's pretty long. So, next time on Okami, we shall venture in through Sasa Sanctuary and see what rewards we get from Jamba, who has so graciously accepted us in. I will see you guys all next time, right now, as I'm currently saving. Wait, one more thing before I end off the video. One more thing! There's another stray bee that I want to get, because I'm pretty sure I'm going to forget about it later. Oh, here it is. It's perfect time to find it at night. So over here in the western end of Nippon, if you dig, so if, like, if you leave South Sanctuary and go right, you'll eventually get to this area, and there's another stray bee right here. All right, so now with getting that, I will see you guys next time for real. I just wanted to get that really quick, because I knew I was going to forget it later on.
So like I said, next time we shall explore this Sparrow Clan and Sasa Sanctuary. There's going to be a lot of goodies there to get. See you guys next time. And I love this transition. Mr. and Mrs. Cutter are based off of characters from a story called Shita Kiri Suzume, or Tongue Cut Sparrow. In the story, an honest and kind woodsman one day finds an injured sparrow in the woods and takes it home to nurse it. His wife, who was greedy and evil, wondered why her husband would waste time caring for such a bird. One day, when the woodsman was out, he left the sparrow alone with his wife, and after the bird got into some starch that was left out, she cut out the sparrow's tongue. Afterwards, she kicked it out of the house back into the mountains. Upon learning this, the woodsman went to search for the sparrow and found a large sparrow inn where he found the sparrow safe amongst its family. Then, the Sparrow family offered him a small box and a large box, and thinking wisely, he took the small box because it would be easier to carry. Once he brought it home, he found that there was lots of treasure inside. The wife, upon seeing this and being greedy, went back to the inn to get the large box, thinking that it would contain a lot more riches. The Sparrows instructed her not to open it until she got home, but she could not wait, and once she did open it, it released deadly snakes and monsters that caused her to fall off the mountain and cause her death.